Yeah, we had some pretty ropey times, I can tell you. Um, I mean, it's all water under the bridge now, so no point in naming names. And while we enjoyed Chris's vocal performances um, doing the voice acting for the boy, unfortunately, he was unable to contribute um, bass. Ah, so Dean told you about that, did he? Yeah, we're referring to that as the fondue incident. Breaking news! We're receiving unconfirmed reports that Gandalf's fist bassist Christopher Uman has been rushed to intensive care following a career-threatening injury involving chains. It was all over the news. Left a boiling vat of cheese just lying around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely Kerry's fault. Chris uh, went, went, went to find himself. Not, not spiritually, physically, he, he, was, he was genuinely lost. Um, and, and on the way to where he was going, he got distracted by a buffet and cheese fondue, Chris, cheese, hands in the cheese, burns. Just, just, just why with the cheese, Chris? Just why? Nah, I don't know why he did it. He just plunged his hands into a vat of boiling cheese. We guess the allure of snacking just overcame his senses. And Chris screamed, he got to get out of there! For a man who loves cheese, it's the one thing that we didn't want to happen. So Chris was wandering through the forest, hand bandaged from cheese burns, bottle of beer still in the other hand, comes into a clearing in this forest, and there's just a bear there, and he's like, what do I do now? His instinct kicks in and he just goes, Come on, bear! Obviously what happened between Chris and that animal remains classified by this government and actually several others around the world as well. So Chris, fresh from the bear incident, wanders into a, into a horse farm and he's like, I just need to get out of here, I just need to get away. Suddenly charging, charging across towards him there's this massive, massive pony and he's like, well, how do I get away from a pony? And he's like, always use your head, Chris. Took the bandage off his hand, wrapped it round its head, mask a pony. Bah, brilliant. Thankfully, by this point, he'd been picked up by the authorities. So after the dust had settled, Chris went home, was unable to play. Hand bandaged, bottle of beer still in his other hand, refused to put it down. But, you know, Chris just turned around to us and said, well, you know, cheesy come, cheesy go. What can you do? Fortunately, we spent half the album's recording budget on medical attention for Chris. They had to graft skin from every region of his anus onto his hands. Every region. And unbelievably, it happened again. And Dean was like, Chris, not again. What's with it with the cheese? Someone left the cheese out again. Um, yeah, it was probably Kerry's fault. So pretty much all our money gone now, and now we had absolutely nobody to play bass on the album. And I thought, well, it's only four strings, can't we play one each? So, since I already played bass drum, I thought I'd give it a shot. And, and we did tell Stefan that we didn't think it was a good idea, but would he listen? <sighs> Them Germans... Mind of their own. Oh, yeah, Stefan on bass. Yeah, it was awful. So on this album, we don't have any guest musicians. You know why? The cheese budget. 